please rise for the singing of our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave hope to the night coach you ready this will be our undefeated season I can already feel it. We're off to a hell of a start. You coming? You think I'll get that offer if we go all the way? I think any college would be lucky to have you. Damn straight. Or the land of the free and the home of the brave. <laughs> Right, Zemo, 22 dive and two. Ready, break! Five counter on two. Blue 42! Blue 42, set high! Right, Z tight, 46 cross on two. Field goal team's ready. No, no, no. We're finishing this game right now. All right, now. Right slot, Z return. But they keep crashing my side, no, no, coach. No, 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 I know. He's going to crash, OK? So you just bounce it a little bit outside and then cut it back up inside. Just bounce it a little bit to the outside and cut it back up, and he'll bite you, OK? OK? Yes, sir. That's good. It's all you, baby. Yes, sir. It's all you. Let's go. Let's go. We got Win the football. Let's, Let's go. 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 Come on. Come on. We got a big stop right here. Everybody give it all you got right here. Yeah. Yeah.
good game. It's not a great game. That's one game. We got a lot of games to go, all right? We'll celebrate big when we win state. You hear me? Yes, special, yes. special, yes. Benny. Yes. Special night, buddy. Special night. Take them home. Yes. Yes. Good game tonight. Let's go. What is your deal? You guys won. I didn't play. Yes, you did. You were on kickoffs. You almost returned that shank punt. Dad, that's special teams. You and I both know that's bullshit. Let's go. Dad! That kind of language isn't necessary. You guys play great out there. You're going to get some chances for more playtime later in the season. You guys go to Tommy's? Yeah, bro. Let's go. Hell yeah. Mark, your mother's got dinner at home. And I want more playing time. Well, what am I supposed to do about it? I don't know. Do something, Dad. You're rich. Mark! You guys fooling here? Oh, I'm getting this one. Where did I go wrong with that kid? It's like Barry Sanders out there tonight, right? It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. You played a good game, man. I appreciate that. I'm gonna hit Tommy's. You wanna come? Can't, man. Sure? Mom wants me home, sure. All right. I'll see you later. All right, man. See you. I'm sorry, Benny. It's just not good enough for a college application. I don't see what's got you excited about going into sports science. But that's what they want to read about, right? Write about what you want to write about. Don't worry about what they want to read. What means a lot to you? You never quit, do you? Oh. Hey. Tom Price, Auburn. Hey, Tom. Good to meet you. I get you a Coke or something? Oh, no, you're good, Coach. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. I just want to come by here and shake your hand before the game on Friday. OK. I'll be there. I'll be watching. Good. I'll be looking for talent. Keep things going the way they're going. And you went out on Friday, you might just be looking at a front office, if that sounds interesting to you. Well, that sounds damn interesting. Hell, yeah. I got all my chips in your corner, coach. I will see you on Friday. OK. Thank you. Coach Trenton? Yeah. Yeah, you got a minute? Drew? Yeah. <clears throat> what can I do for you? What's on your mind? You're a good dad. But if Mark wants more playing time, he's going to have to work harder and get in more reps after practice. We are big time donors to this football program, coach. You want to come run championship football team? Be my guest. Benny. Yes, yes, sir. Come on in. No, 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 no. I'll come back. I'll come back another time. I'm never too busy for you, son. Come right on in. Here, have a seat. What you got? All right. So I've been thinking a lot about college. You know, but I ain't smart like my mama, so I don't want to be no lawyer. But I do want to go and study something, you know? You talked to Coach Dykes at SMU, right? Yes, sir. He told me if I play football, I'd be a short shot. Great. Then you're on your way. Well, what's the problem? You know, my mom, she don't want me playing after high school, Coach. She barely let me play this season. You making all A's and B's. Oh, uh, no, nah, man. I got a B, two, I think, maybe. So, you're not going to get no academic scholarship. <laughs> no. <laughs> OK. Uh, but here, here's the deal. Right now, your mama's got to sign permission slips, and she's got to help you pay for the gear and all that kind of stuff, and you got to get her approval, right? Yeah. Well, it's not that way in college. College is different. Now, 
I am not telling you to disobey your mama, but I am telling you that there comes a time in a man's life when he's got to decide for himself. Something to think about. Mm. Hey, you remember this? I remember, I remember that. I remember all this. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. So, work it out with your mama. It's gonna be all right. You come in here anytime you want. You're kicking ass this season. Thanks, I'm proud sir. of you, son. All right, yes, sir. Thanks for everything. I'll see you at practice. I'll see you at practice. All right. Sorry, I'm late. Those coaches know they are not supposed to keep you past 6 o'clock. You no, know, practice ended at 6. We just had team meetings and stuff after, you know. Mm. Team meetings sound like screwing around with your friends to me. Thank you for grabbing all those groceries. You're welcome. So how was your meeting with the college advisor? Fine, fine. All right. Well, what did he say about your essay? He said I need to write about something else. So the two of you sat and brainstormed some more ideas? Kind of. Don't tell me you were doing football at lunch. Well, so I went to Coach Vic's office, and he told me he can get me into college and with a full scholarship. Wow. That's, that's good news. Mm-hmm. And when did he say he would do this? Well, he didn't really say, but it's something he's working on. Oh, but he's sure about it? Yeah, he's sure. I trust him. Well, if you trust him, then better. Why aren't you happy about this? Honey, you can't rely on other people to help you get through life. Ma, I'm not relying on Coach Vic to get me through life. Everyone that I have ever worked with is a liar until they put it on paper. And even then, sometimes they're still trying to get over on you. I mean, did he say what he wanted in return? Oh, great. So you didn't went out there and wrote that man a blank check. No, I didn't write him no blank check. Boy, you are just another pawn in his winning streak. Look, honey, I'm sorry, OK? I just don't want you to get stuck doing something that you don't even like. Mom, I like playing. And I'm doing this. I love you. I love you too. Funny. I am. I'm just taking my time. We ain't got much time, man. And coach won't be happy if you're late. What you gonna do? Take away playing time I don't get? Well, don't screw us over. If you're late, you can all take the heat for it. The coach is not gonna make us run sprints three days before the biggest game of the season. Mark, we still should just get moving. Benny, do you do everything Coach Vic tells you to do? time you got? 302, exactly. That's what I got, 302, exactly. They're not all here. Think that English teacher Crossley kept them late? I hope so. That better be the reason. I'll go find out who it is. All right. Attaboy. Being late's one thing, fellas, but she get moving. 
Okay, look, you want to run all the way to the field? Be my guest. Anybody? Nah, man, I just got a bad feeling about shut this. Shut up, Vinny. God damn. Don't tell me to shut up. What's your problem? All right, man. Eleven minutes late. I give you guys a full half hour to get from the school to the locker room, and you still can't do it. One of you's late, same as all y'all being late. The weakest link can break us. And I'm not gonna see us get broken after all that we've been through. So I'm gonna put a stop to it right now. Eleven minutes. Eleven gassers. Right now. On me. This is gonna wreck them for Friday's game. We'll stop at 11. If we can't be on time, we got nothing. I think the season's doing fine. I don't care what you think. You're not going to be a part of this team. All right, boys, hit the showers. Hey, 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 hold on, coach. We're going to keep running until everybody runs their 11. I did already. Everybody runs 11. You better get him running, boys. Come on, Mark, let's do this. Do it for me. I'm done. No, do it for us, man. It's almost there, bro. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's do this, all right? Come on. All right, damn. This is a lot right now, Vic. It's the only way we're going to get disciplined. It's the only way we're going to win this football game. Get the lead out. Attaboy. Come on, Turner. Attaboy. Come on, Turner. Benny, come on. Here, I got you, bro. Here, come on. Hey. Coach! Come on. Coach! 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 What the hell? Get Duffy now. Get Duffy now. Yeah, I don't think we need Duffy. I think we need the paramedics. Is he gonna be okay? I don't think so. How do you know? They didn't turn on the sirens. What have you done? <laughs> Stay away from me. He's all I have left. Why? His blood is what your ears. <laughs> Ugh. 
but he had something wrong with his heart. He's gone, boys. Practice for the rest of the week's gonna be canceled. We're gonna reschedule Friday's game. Go home. Everybody go home. Tragedy this week as local football player Benny Robinson dies suddenly on the practice field. A caring, a thoughtful, a wonderful human being. They are going to miss him greatly. Uh, we are also being told that Benny Robinson had a rare heart condition. We'll be finding out more about that as the autopsy happens in a little bit. We're here live at State Stadium. We will have more on this story tonight at 10. We all just heard about it. Uh, people coming in nonstop talking about it. Yeah. I mean, we are literally sick to our stomachs. I, I just never thought something like this had happened. What can I get you? Double. You're a good man. I don't think I could handle anything under a triple. Okay. Do that. You got it. Tonight's on the house. Thanks, Ted. Hello? Hey, Vic. This is Coach Brown from the Lions. Oh, hey. I gotta apologize to you. Our bye week was last week, and there's just no way we can reschedule. Well, we have to. I cannot imagine what you are going through. You have my deepest condolences. Thank you. The you is your bartender? Well, what do you say? Big time football coach in my bar. Yeah. Heard about that kid. Damn shame. It is. Heard it was your fault. Who said that crap? Just everybody I've been seeing tonight, the whole town is buzzing. It was his heart. It's just what I was hearing. It's not like I was hearing you was going to win on Friday. Game's off, Billy. You ain't even going to try. Oh, come on, you can't be serious. We don't have a choice. It's a game. It's it one game. It's not your call to make. Coach, just, just wait a second. I am begging you right now, do not do this. You have the team here ready to play Friday night. Why, though? Why? Is it that scout? Is that what this is about? We're playing. Coach, come on. You. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now Change! Win! Change! Win! Change! Win! Change! Win! 
This is for Benny. Right in the, yeah. to your belly, and just, I'll keep the label. I mean, see, there's always stripes. Logo to the guy. There's always stripes. What's the superintendent doing here? Greg, what is the superintendent doing here? What the hell's going on, Wesley? Coach, I need you to turn around. Oh, why would I do that? The game's canceled. Saints forfeited. We didn't no, forfeit. We didn't no, forfeit. no, 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 hey, no come on. We're ready to play. Victor, please take your team back to the locker room. <laughs> I'm not taking my team back to the locker room. We're playing this game, Wesley. It's done. Greg made the call. It's not his call to make, it's my call to make. It was the wrong call. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, coach. Let's, let's go. go. Turn around. Let's go. It was the right thing to do, Greg. Tom, Vic, what's the deal? I had nothing to do with this. All amounts to the same thing. So that's it? The... Look, man, I guess I'll come out for a championship game. At least I can trust y'all not to forfeit something like that. Some breaking news. Coach Vic and the Saints kicked off the field. What do you think? Well, we all know Coach Vic. He's very competitive. He's trying to make it to state. He's in a tight spot right now. I think he was right in trying to play. He has a commitment to his team, to the town. I think his player would have wanted him to play. We'll see what happens in the next coming weeks. Well, whatever the right decision was, he's got a storm coming his way. Hope he rides it out. And there he is. That'll be all, Wendy. Thank you. Victor, come in. Do you recognize her? That's Wendy Main, the reporter you see all over TV. She sat me cornered in this office asking for a comment about the death on your team this week. And? You've turned this whole thing into a circus. It was a freak accident. What was I supposed to do? Maybe not forcing the team to play before they could bury their friend, for starters. Oh, so am I here for you to tell me how to coach a football team, or can I just go ahead and leave? I think you need to be more concerned about your future employment, Victor. You can't fire me. I can find room in the budget for counselors. I can't say the same thing for attorneys in a settlement. You're a spineless son of a bitch. You're suspended. I can't fire you without a school board vote, but I can tell you what that vote's gonna be. Fiddle. Coach Trenton. Not anymore. This is for you. I had to deliver it by hand. You're suing me? This is how you mourn Benny's death? This shit isn't my fault. Benny had hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, a condition that doesn't kill anyone unless they're under immense physical stress. He's gone because you pushed him too hard. I suggest you get a lawyer. I don't need a lawyer. I know what happened. <laughs> Ma'am, please. When, when is his funeral? 
You're not welcome there. Close it up, Vic. Of course, you can always come back in tomorrow afternoon at opening if you'd like. <laughs> Maybe I will. What are folks saying, Ted? Oh, uh, well, you know, folks. <laughs> always saying some sort of thing. Yeah, what kind of things? You know, I meant to ask you, um, are you going to say a few words to that voice service? I don't think so. His mother doesn't want me there. Well, that changes. It might help. Maybe. Good night, Vic. Good night. Guys, just face it, like, the season's over. Come on, man, don't say that. No, seriously, like, Benny was freaking amazing, man. Everything just sucks now, and Coach is gone. You know, I'm pretty sure Mark and a bunch of the other guys are gonna quit, too. Coach wants to know where the funeral's gonna be. Are you gonna tell him? Hell yeah. Shouldn't he be there? What are you doing here? I'm just here to pay my respects. I made it clear that you are not welcome here. I really need closure on this, ma'am. That is a luxury that I will never have. And I don't plan to let you have it anytime soon, either. Hey, Coach. Oh, hey, Coach. Hey, guys. <clears throat> You're not staying? Well, I can't. Uh, thanks for telling me about it. You know, Coach, I think it's some crap you got suspended. You guys just keep playing your asses off and pray for Benny and, and everybody, and I, I'll be your coach again as soon as all this crap's over. Go right. get him. Thanks, Coach. Yeah. Coach Vic. Oh, Christ. How's it going? It's not too great, Drew. I just wanted to see if Mark's reached out to you. I hadn't seen him. 
Well, he wasn't here, actually. Uh, he's been at home since Friday night. It's pretty messed up over all this. I don't know how to help him. Well, here's Dad, figure it out. I don't know what to do, Vic. He won't tell me anything. I mean, what... What happened on that field? Superintendent told me that he's gonna be hiring some grief counselors for the school to help with the players and the teachers and stuff, and so if you can get get Mark to go talk to one of them, I, I'm sure that'll, that'll help him. And, He'll be much better off, all right? We'll see you. Hey. What? Jesus, Vic. I was only half kidding about you coming back at opening. I think it's time for another triple. All right. Head on in. Wouldn't even let you stay. It's ridiculous. What's next? Hmm. Well, Albert Scott says I gotta win state to have a shot. Well, we can still win with one loss, but the school board's deciding whether I get to come back. Well, maybe it'll help if you win the case. Maybe. Yeah. All right. I was at the funeral. I didn't see you there. You should have heard the folks talking after the service, whispering about the head coach, how he done run a boy in the ground. He done it. He's guilty as sin. It wasn't my fault, Vic. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. Oh, hey, call it. Get off me, Ted. Vic, you got to go. Bartender, you think he's innocent? What do you think? You know what? You got to go, Vic. I don't want any trouble around here, okay? You think it was my fault? I think that I have never seen you like this, okay? Just go home and get some rest, okay? <sighs> Thanks, asshole. Ah. Crashed on by you. Yeah. You've been ignoring my messages. Huh? I'm worried about you, Dad. Really? Yeah. I feel on top of it, all right? How could you possibly be on top of it? I'm not here to cry about it. It's not going to do any good. Oh, my God. You're trying to win something that can't be won. You have to turn this around, Dad. Oh, thank you, Coach. What, what do I do after halftime? Why don't you tell me that? Well, fine, big good. In the 1960s, as many as 26 high school players died in one year during football practice. Even with our modern technology, updated safety gear, we still average eight to 16 players a year dead each year nationwide. That means there's a one in 100,000 chance that a player will die during his playing of high school football. Just think about car wrecks, Addiction, alcohol, think about those numbers. Way higher. Of all youth sports, one player dies every three days. Does that mean that one in 100,000 football coaches should be tried for murder? I don't think so. What happened to Benny was a freak accident. 
an accident. We should simply have more awareness of why these things happen. You gonna write any of that down? Do you feel that crashing the player's funeral was inappropriate in any way? Oh, no, his mother was under the impression that this was not an accident, and that's why she's bringing a lawsuit against me. So you blame the mother of the deceased? Yes. No. Yes. No. Care to clarify? <sighs> she just should have known about his heart problem. So you don't feel that any of this is your responsibility? When I get rid of this ridiculous lawsuit, then everybody will see the truth. The administration will see the truth, the people will see the truth, and hopefully you see the truth right now. Let me get this straight. A player dies from physical stress because of your punishment sprints, only to ruin the mother in a court of law. No, that's not it at all. I'm gonna have my photographer take some shots for the piece if you don't mind. Thank you for your time, Victor. Cheers. In cases like this, it is recommended that you both seek legal counsel. The both of you have decided to represent yourselves pro se. It is unconventional, but it is legal. You've both waived a jury as well. So you'll present your case to me. You'll question your witnesses in front of me. You will talk to each other as you normally would. Are there any questions? No, Your Honor. No. Your Honor. Calling to order the case of Robinson versus Trenton. The plaintiff, Miss Robinson, sues in the amount of one dollar. My son was a hardworking young man who kept his nose to the grindstone his whole life. He had friends family. He had a bright future. He also had hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, a condition that we would have never known about had it not been for Coach Trenton's revenge sprints that unfairly target... These Mr. are not Trenton, punishment please. They're not... Please. Okay. You've been advised there is no jury, and you're free to speak as you normally would. There's no need to formally object. Oh. Okay. But that's not fair, right? You're right. It was an unfair assumption. Now, Miss Robinson, you may continue without the objectionable material this time. This man is at fault for the death of my son. I could sue him for a dollar or a million dollars. It wouldn't matter to me. Because when he loses this case, he'll never hurt anyone again. Because he'll never coach again. And he'll finally understand what it feels like to lose something that he loves. Does the defendant have an opening statement? Benny's loss has been absolutely tragic for me too. I never thought anything in the world like this could happen. Did you ever even come to one of his games? Your Honor, I would like to call my first witness. Please do, Mr. Robinson. 
Would you say that you've ever had a practice entirely of sprints? No, ma'am. So what was the reason for them this day? Because me and three of the other guys were late. So this was a form of punishment? Uh, yes, ma'am. Was Benny one of those other guys? Yes, ma'am. Your Honor, while the sprints were a form of punishment, I argue that they were increased beyond the normal level due to the aggression of the defendant. And only at this stage were they deemed harmful. Duly noted. That's the problem these days. It's discipline, not aggression. Life is all about discipline. You know that, Judge. A kid should respect it. And when I get a player that comes in there who hadn't been taught any discipline by his parents, the only way I'm going to get respect out of him is with law and order. Yeah, you tell him, Coach. Mr. Trenton, you do realize that you're not their parent, nor are you a police officer. You're a high school football coach. If Mr. Trenton felt that he was being challenged by insubordination from his players, would that be something that he could just forget about? Um, he would stamp it out. At the cost of their well-being? Give it a rest. You think I'd let somebody die just to win a football game? Tell him, Greg. You've worked with me for years. Tell him how I feel about the team. Go ahead, tell him. Well, I mean, you'd go for a touchdown rather than kick a field goal. But this was a level I hadn't seen before. Did you observe the player in question struggling with these sprints? I mean, yeah, but it wasn't out of the ordinary after that much running. That's right. And did you feel the sprints were excessive? I felt they were excessive for a game week. Did you express this concern to Mr. Trenton? Yes. And how did he respond? Um, he ignored me. How long thereafter did Benny collapse? It was the next gasser. Really? That was the last one. You can't prove that. Yes, I can. That was the last one. I told you that. I don't remember you saying that. Your Honor, I would like to call one last witness. You're excused. Sir, you're excused. Did you end up running 11 gassers? Yes. What happened then? I stopped because I counted and I said that that was 11 and we kept going because coach didn't care. Why did he keep them going? Because he wanted me to give in. Did you? No. So if you were the insubordinate party, why did the entire team have to run sprints? Because he'll do anything to get what he wants. Even at the cost of an innocent life. Um, yes. No further questions, Your Honor. Plaintiff rests. You're excused. I don't feel any better. You said that this would help me. You did great, honey. But you have to go now, okay? You're excused. I'm not ready. I, I don't think that I, I could say more. I didn't say enough. We'll talk in a minute. Thank you. Okay. Contrary to what I advise, both of you have expressed the need for an immediate decision in spite of a lack of reflection on my part. So we shall reconvene after a short recess. Hey, why don't you believe me when I say I cared about Benny? Because you don't know what you're talking about. When Benny's father left, I had to be both parents. I paid the bills, I ran the house. I raised him to have a future. Now, when you invest that much time into a child, you know when they're falling behind. You watch them, protect them. You don't keep blowing a damn whistle until they drop dead. So it's just revenge, huh? He kept spending more and more time with the team. 
I raised him just so he could come home after dark exhausted and then wake up the next day and waste his time all over again. I raised him just so you could take him from me. I didn't take him from you. I am doing this to protect other parents in the world from people like you. Mr. Trenton, I don't know you, but I've known plenty of people like you in all my years of public service. There's nothing wrong with the desire to win, but there is something wrong when you blind yourself to the needs of others in the process. That is called negligence, and negligence is punishable. However, evidence does not show that the defendant's negligence was a direct cause of death to the victim. The plaintiff's evidence was too speculative and objectionable to support liability. I find the defendant, Victor Trenton, not liable. Case closed. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. I didn't just mean for the weekend. No, no, you gotta go. Ted, I won the case. I'm happy for you. Hey. You... No. What's that grin for? You high? No, Billy, I'm innocent. I still think you're guilty. Well, I don't care what you think. You can look in the newspaper in the morning and it will say otherwise. I have been acquitted. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I don't know. Care what you know. It's about time. Look, I told you, Vic, you can't be here right now. But it's over, Ted. Maybe, maybe for you. Jesus, what time is it? God, what the hell Dad. are you doing here? Jeez, I didn't think you'd be home so late. How'd you get in? He gave me a key when I left for Baylor, remember? Well, you're going back first thing in the morning. You're going right back to wake up. Dad, not until you talk to me. What are you going to talk about? Oh, I don't know. You came to fix me. Go ahead and do whatever Come you Come on, I'm not here to fix you. I'm here because you spent 14 hours in court today, and I want to make sure you're OK. I am fine. So why don't you just drive on back to your, your your boyfriend? Yeah, you know, at least there's a man in my life that cares about me more than football. You were always the most important thing in my life. Why didn't you act like that while I was here? Huh? There's a lot worse dads out there. Did a lot crappier things than missing. Uh, daddy, daughter, dads, because I had a damn playoff game. Wow. You missed a lot more than one dance. Recitals, graduations, you divorced mom. Your mother. It was your mother who filed for divorce. Mm -hmm. No, you never told me that. Oh, yes, she did. So full of shit. You were ask so her! Full you ask shit. her! You ask her! That's what happened. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah. Bet it did. You want me to tuck you in?
Hello. Uh, who is this? Oh, uh, this is Coach Vic. Uh, you're you're on the board, right? Uh, yeah. That's right, Vic. Uh, well, I just got to tell you that I've uh, been acquitted in the lawsuit. Okay. I'll make sure the other board members know. Great. Uh, when is the vote? Um, we haven't scheduled that meeting yet, but we'll let you know. Okay. You take care now, Vic. Bye. Wendy. What do you want? Well, I was hoping we could do another interview. Why? Well, uh, I want everybody out there to know that I'm innocent. <sighs> but you're not innocent. The case is closed. Look, you may be innocent in a court of law or whatever, but it's still kind of your fault. Take it from me, a little apology never hurt nobody. Wendy, let's go. We need you. Hey, wait, Wendy. Hey. Oh, thank you. you know that Mark's been chatting with the counselors from the school district like you recommended. Well? And that was going well for a while, but it didn't help. I don't know if there's anything I can do or say that would help. Coach, it would mean the world if you'd just sit down and talk with him. He testified against me in a court, Drew. I don't think there's anything I can do or say.
Thank you. You want a beer? I'm 17. I'm messing with you. How are things with the team? I don't know. I, um, <clears throat> I quit. Oh. No, that's too bad. Unless you're better off without football. Maybe, yeah. You know, I, uh, when I left, I, the team was doing really good. Coach Greg's doing really good. Yeah, I heard. You applying for college? Yeah. Yeah. Um, got lots of extra time now to work on my paper. This is, like, without practice. So. I bet you do. What about you? How have you been doing? Doing good? Fine. Fine. I got a lot of extra time, too. Yeah? Mm hmm. For what? Doing nothing. And I hate it. Hey, listen, I, uh, <clears throat> I, I want to say I'm sorry about the things I no, said no, in court. No, 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 that's water under the bridge. It, but it's n Teresa made you say that, right? Nobody can make me say anything. <clears throat> what are we here for? What, 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 what are you going to talk about? What do you really want to talk about? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Ah. Oh. You need a ride home? No, it's all good. My dad's parked around the corner. All right. Well, let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Coach. Later. Christ. Hey, Mark. Yeah? Do you actually feel any better? Because I don't. I feel terrible. I don't even know what to do. I'm going out of my dad gum mind. I'm trying to fix everything, everything in my power. I'm trying to fix things, and I can't do it. I don't know what to think. I feel terrible, too. I can't even sleep. I, I killed him, Coach. I then he was the nicest guy, and now he's dead because of me. And he Benny didn't deserve any of this. No, you didn't. You did not kill Benny. You hear me? I you didn't did. kill Benny. Yes, sir. Thanks, Coach. Be a man. We're both gonna be a man. Good night. Sir. Good yes, night. sir. Yes, sir. Vic, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm sorry, Greg. Hey, uh, I like what you've done to the place, but where's all the trophies? I don't have any of those. Well, you will have if you keep going like you're going out there. You're doing great, son. Huh? Thank you, Vic. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, I just, uh, I wanted to say I'm sorry. I know you were just trying to do the right thing when you forfeited. Yeah, I know. I'm new to it. Yeah. Wasn't expecting that. How am I doing? You know, you're, you're doing all right. Well, 
Good. <laughs> Thank you. I, yeah. That means a lot. You're welcome. Look, Coach, if I could, <clears throat> I'd just like to talk to the team. You know, I think that'd be um, a good idea. I mean, they need closure with you, right? But you are suspended. From coaching. Well, <laughs> I wouldn't mess with the board. Yeah, I don't know what's taking that dead gum board so long. Do you do this? Yeah. I like moving the backs like that. It's an interesting stack. You know what you're doing. Yeah. A little bit. You always did. <sighs> this is the last place I ever talked to him. What about? College. His future. I wish he was still here. There's so many things I'd like to tell him. I, I mean, I, I would love to talk to that kid again. You know, we all feel that way. The whole team. There's got to be something that we can do to help those kids. It's a little bit harder than moving X's and O's on a whiteboard, though, isn't it? It is. Sarah. I'm sorry. What's wrong? Nothing. Hey, don't move. I'll be right there. Don't do anything, Dad. Sarah. Uh, Sarah. Uh... No. Have you been drinking? No. God, I've never heard you start a conversation with an apology. You want to come in? Yeah. All right. What's going on? You thirsty? <laughs> I'm fine. Dad, what? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry for a lot of things, but I'm, I'm first sorry for pushing you out. And I'm sorry for criticizing you. And, you know, I should have known you were trying to help me. Yeah, it's okay, Dad. Not really. And number two, I'm sorry for James, the James thing. God, Dad. Yeah. No. It took mean, a while. I really should have been happy for you, but I was, I was jealous. He took my little girl away from me. I didn't understand. He's really good to me. Should have known that you being happy was what should make me happy. Ooh, I really wasn't prepared for this, Dad. I'm not through. Uh, I'm sorry about the family, about you and me and Mom, because I know that I put football first. I didn't know I was doing it, but I did. I truly, I want my baby back. You should have me. I waited a long time for this, you know that, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dad, I would like that. <sighs> Jesus. I think it's time for that drink. <laughs> yeah. Join me. Uh, 
Is this a hug part? I guess it is. <laughs> Coming in hot. <laughs> Feels better than that touchdown, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, you yeah, <laughs> Sorry. Wow. Hey, Vic. Uh, listen, it turns out that I have got myself a brand new whiskey glass with your name on it. I think you better come down and have the first sip. See you soon. Good to see you. Thanks, Ted. I just got this brand new beautiful glass. Ain't that something? <laughs> just like the other one. Ah. Enjoy. Thank you. New Saints coach is a damn good one. He's better than you ever were. He may be. I heard you won't be on the sidelines during the playoffs. Yeah. That's sad. But true. What's the matter with you? Don't you got a fire in your belly no more? I do, Billy. It's just a different fire. What's the matter with him? You on yoga or something? <laughs> Are you on yoga, Vic? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's on yoga. Is this yoga? Yeah, I think you're on yoga. <laughs> Cheers, Ted. Teresa. Who is this? Son of a gun, Vic. Sorry, Greg. I'll get out of here. I guess I wasn't as sly as I thought I was. No, you don't be crazy now. You stay right where you are. Your board votes tomorrow. I'm just trying to calm my nerves. Well, heck, I'd vote for you. You deserve that state championship. It's what you always wanted. Yeah, we all do. That's right. It's good to see you. Good to see you, Greg. Go get him, coach. Thank you. Tell Seven to keep that right foot back. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> votes in your favor. Four in mine. Guess you're not innocent after all. Okay, sirrah, sirrah. It's all right. We'll live. Teresa. This is for you. I had to deliver it by hand. This is not a legal thing. 
No. Oh. You want to come in? Uh, no. Thank you. Um, you should read that. I didn't know. Okay. I'm sorry for all of this. I didn't know. I'm sorry. Benny Robinson, senior, college essay. Oh my God. There are a lot of ways that people talk about me. They say that I'm fast, they say that I'm nice, or I'm strong. But I don't think anyone's ever told me that I was cool, you know? And that's just following me, because I don't think that I'm all that cool anyway, but that's why my coach, Coach Vic, is my hero. Because he makes me feel like the coolest guy ever. Coach Vic's hard on me, but I learned pretty quick that he does that because he cares a whole lot about me. And he knows that I can do better and be better if he pushes me. I wouldn't have stayed in school if it weren't for Coach Vic, you know? No matter what happens or where I go to college, Coach Vic would be there for me. He's like the dad I never had. I hope someday I can inspire people like he can, just like I feel my best self every day I play football or work out to get better. He's always there for me. It's always rude. I wouldn't change my time with the Saints for anything in the world. I love you, son. That's why I want to be a Saint forever. Because I don't think I'll ever find a better group of guys to be around who like me so much and who I know are my brothers. I'm gonna miss them after this season. I hope they don't miss me too bad and then they still play good when I'm gone. Guys, when we lost Benny, I didn't know what to do. I mean, all I've ever done my whole life is win football games. That's all I cared about. I'm here to tell you right now, I love each and every one of you. I'm very proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. But I can tell you this right now, this game, it is not near as big as what you have already overcome. I want you to win the state championship. I, I do, but it's not as important as what you already have. And that is a team. You are part of a team and that's gonna stay with you forever. I promise you that. Now and forever, because you've been in the trenches with each other. You fought together, you pain together, you've passion together. You've won and you've lost, but you're gonna remember this for the rest of your life. You are part of a team, now and forever. Benny will be a saint forever because he's right here with us. He'll be in this locker room from now to the end of time. For every kid that ever comes in this locker room, they're gonna know who Benny was. He's in your heart. He's in your head. He's all around us. From now on.
heavy metal and slamming weights It's the price of the prize and the part of your soul that you have to pay Two days in the Texas sun Forget about the girl, it's over and done I hated to watch her walk away But it's time to play It's time to play In our town The field was sacred ground Friday night was a show Lights are on, everybody goes In our town Give them hell on every down We play hard, everybody knows You give it all to the last whistle blow When you're all in to take care of one another to Roll the dice and sacrifice Lay it on the line for your brother And it feels good you're never gonna roll The light flies by at the speed of sound Don't you know that's the way it goes In our town Sacred ground Friday night was a show Lights are on, everybody goes In our town Give them hell on every down You play it hard, everybody knows Give it all to the last whistle blow Friday night lights are still shining Maybe it's time to let them go They say you can't take it with you But they're lying Those days are mine To the last whistle blow